So, Gordon, defeat St Andrews, what, what's your thoughts on today's game? Um, well, we came up here to try and win the game, and I think you could probably see that. Um, we set up to try and get in behind them, we set up to overload the middle of the park. They set up in the first half very similar to us. Well, I don't know if they normally play that way, I don't know if they had watched us, but they changed it in the second half, obviously. Um, I think, oh, listen, the scoreline shows that we beat 2 1, and that's what reflects the game. But as I said, um, I'm just disappointed we lost the game. Couldn't even get a point out of the game at the end of the day. Though, because I don't think we actually had a shot in target for the amount of the ball that we had. Uh, yeah, just after saying a minute or two ago, there, you know, when Graham, Graham gets inside the 18 yard box, he's got, to, he's got to try and hit it and try and make the goal and make a save. But we seem to get into the 18 yard box and, you know, we're looking to pass it, you know. But effort wise, I cannot fault the players for effort, you know. The, the, Probably for the 90 minutes, you know, they had a, a five minute spell and I think they scored two goals in three minutes and that's what happens to us at times. And I could honestly, hand in my heart, say that that's probably the only five minutes in the game that they possibly had. But at the end of the day, we beat 2-1. As you said, you know, first half, we came out just wanting to get a goal, we had chances and but they took theirs and that's kind of difference. Like, the effort the team showed today, does that really reflect the scoreline today? Well, listen, as you, if the players can give everything they've got and they don't win a game, and, and I mean everything, leave everything on the park, sometimes you just got to can't ask, ask for any more. Um, and I think the Camelot players gave everything they got today, uh, an effort for work ethic, creating a couple of chances, getting in behind them. Um, and the score of the line reflects that they won 2 1, and they, they deserve to win the game. They scored two goals, and you know, the first one is just outside the 18 yard box. And Jacob couldn't see it. Uh, second one's also a penalty from Greg, an experienced player. He wins the first tackle, but he doesn't need to go bring it in for the second one and bring the boy down because it's always going to happen. That, but no, listen, at the end of the day, um, we can't complain. We beat 2 1, that was that. And uh, Tuesday night, home to Nubra in the King Cup. Is it, is it good to have a game quickly right after the defeat, just take over it quicker and we'll get back onto that? Well, we've, we've not got the biggest squad. Uh, numbers wise and I like keeping it to 18 players but we've got two missing at the moment um, I would probably like to have kept them fresh for Saturday but I'll probably have to mix it up on Tuesday to give you know fresh legs on the part and listen we take to the field on Tuesday we're looking to win the game um, but at the end of the day we've got a real real tough game next Saturday against Eric Watt. Thank you.